Recording has begun again. We're back. We never left. With the new melee god run. All right. I think we are going to go hit some ancient dangers. You know, we really need to... How long do we have? We have 1.2 years to find three more tough pawns, hopefully. So, yeah. Let's go hit up some more ancient dangers. I might actually attack some of this stuff. Toxic potatoes. Pig skin. Would love to see a mining camp pop up. Keep an eye on that. For now, let's go hit some more ancient dangers. All right, we're going to take uh, everyone aside from mind freeze again. All right, I was going to see if I could... All right, uh, what else are we gonna take? Uh, we might go to several. So let's just take a bunch of pack survival meals. I think otherwise we'll be fine. And we'll check on this when we get back. All right, hit the road. Well, John, Frank, Max, welcome in. Stop protecting your water mills. You held up against Max. That's nice, yeah. Thank you for letting me know, Crumb. Glad it worked for you. You have a clip of the non-violent pawn punching someone. You know it was a long time ago, but you were just playing the rim world. You have a non-violent pawn, so it pops back in your head. They can absolutely uh, do that if they get in a social fight um, caused by someone else or whatnot. Yeah. Have I replaced Chonk yet? No. I don't have a clip of it though, Zach. No. Take some extra drugs. Ah, we're fine. We're right next to home. We'll be okay. All right over there, Jimmy. All right, Jimmy. I don't want you attacking our horse, so kill that wolf. All right, there is an ancient danger. Let's go ahead and head that way. There's two ancient dangers again. Nice. We had one map that had none, and then the next two have had two. Excellent, excellent. Excellent, excellent. What was that? Uh, Captain, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you, Captain. Murderous rage on sacrifice child. I have no idea how they're not dead. All right. Uh, thank you, Captain. Door front. Get posted when the editor is done with the current episode. Yeah, I, I post them as soon as I have it. So we're just not done yet. Uh, can you ask a question? Yeah, always, always. I'll I miss it. Feel free to ask it again when I'm uh, I'm not like opening ancient danger or something. But yeah, feel free to feel free to ask. Can there be more than two ancient dangers? Yeah, the bigger the map type, the more ancient dangers there can be. All right, Christopher. Crap. Is your, I think your go juice got left over, over here. Go we'll take a go juice and then come back. I have a pawn with fast runner gene and jogger trait. Do the movement speed stack? They do now, yeah. They didn't before, but they do now. You can tell if a trait is, well, if the trait is grayed out, so if you look at their uh, bio and the trait is grayed out, it means it's no longer working. But if the trait's not grayed out, you should be able to go into their information pane and look at their movement speed and it'll tell you what's adding to it. Um, but yeah, they did change it with a cross faction or cross faction, uh, cross expansion update where the genes don't all overwrite like they used to. 
See the biphasic that I'm using with darkness? Um, yeah, this is the one I'm using right now. It's a kind of basic one. One second. I need to use this. I need to do this. Back there. I don't want any more shooting. Get on her. Okay. All right. Uh, strip them. They die. Nice. Do low shield. Uh, are you tough by chance? Nope. All right. Strip the others. Got a psychic soothe pulser. Open that. All right. Number to auto craft advanced components. Um, kind of in like the the late game when I'm doing it. I will do the amount I need to make an whatever repeatable thing I'm doing. So like if you're making, um, you know, like marine helmets, I would put it for the number that it takes to make marine helmets and go from there. And then in the very late game, when I just don't care, I usually put it up to like 20. Like, yeah, and to start with, I usually just put advanced component crafting to whatever the thing is I'm wearing or making, I should say in bulk. All right, what are we getting there? Psychic Pulsar, okay. All right, let's go pop the other one. That's just what I do, like I said. It's not necessarily the, the right thing or the wrong thing or whatever. Flame Centipede, okay. We gotta make sure that doesn't hit. We gotta stun the flint. There we go. Stun him, stun him. Yep. More Luciferium. Crystal, are you still on your go juice? You are. Okay. Open this. Oh, they're dead. Okay. Hey, a Zeus hammer. Nice. Excellent, excellent. And skin hardening. Okay, let's get out of here. That was a good ancient danger there. Good set of them. All right. We'll take the components, advanced components, tea, go juice, luciferium. Um pulsers gold another low shield the smoke pop those flak pants Zeus hammer and take all this and then let's um that's worth a bit and it's light so we'll take that to sell 
And then we'll take just as much of the plasteel as we can get, I guess. Which is all of it. That's good enough. All right. Uh, I checked for tough on those ones. Yeah, these ones came out dead. So the one up there wasn't tough either. The one that lived. Big loot. Uh, oh, did I miss a strip up here? Ah, this one, okay. There's a live one? Yeah, I checked. They don't they don't have tough. No. Although I should probably check for uh crafting also. No tough bonds there either. Although there is a crafter. 86 year old with craft. But mad. The bottom HG I got. It. Thank you. That was a good dive there. Maybe we should grab two more horses to make this faster. Okay. Now we can abandon this one. Yeah, I might actually go attack some of these settlements. See if we can get some tough ponds that way. Oh, did I miss, uh, did I miss a bolster? I think I did. I, it's all right. Yeah, it, it couldn't be in the zone because it was uh, on the edge. I forgot to add it manually. That's all right. Go on, Vegemite. Welcome in. All right. Are these close to resetting? 25 days. So we can go ahead and get Crispa back out with a bunch of the stuff because we don't want the wealth here from it. Let's check out that Persona weapon and apply this. All right, a good Zeus Hammer uh, Silence Maker. Psychic Hypersensitizer. This weapon amplifies the wielder's psychic sensitivity by 40%, which uh, this only applies while the weapon is held. Okay, so we'll give that to Mind Freeze. Excellent, excellent. Water crimes, always water crimes. Well, not always, but war crimes this time. All right. We will have had a heart attack. You learned a hard lesson. Uh oh. I still think they should have made a way so when you put auto slaughter on Boomalope that they don't explode on you. That was, I remember right after Ideology came out and they added the auto slaughter and stuff menu here. This is not a mod, by the way. And uh, we were raising Boomalope and I set them to like auto kill some of them and they take them and they just blow up. <laughs> Person gets caught on fire and everything. Hmm. hmm. Maybe that's not a great idea. Yeah, I really need to get this steel done. Um... I hate to do it. Um, yeah, I'm going to. Let's go ahead and get Crispa out on the road, though. Christopher back out. Gotta remember to get rid of the goats this time. Also, I need to check about... No, I'm just going to sell them. We need them. We need the money. Okay. We might actually use the psychic animal pulser. I'm gonna think of it. 
Nah, that's fine. We need the money more in it right now. Gotta remember I have that healer mech serum too. Got that out of an ancient angel earlier today. Okay. I think that's all I'm gonna take on this one. Should be enough. We gotta get some of this stuff smelted too. Gotta turn the smelter back on. Alright, 0.5 days. Perfect. Smelter turn back on. You really need a crafter though. How we doing? It's going really well. It's going really well. What's the easiest way off planet? Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Off planet, I guess, would be the royalty launch, right? Arco Nexus is actually the easiest if you if you're talking about just credits, but actual off planet, the royalty one overall, I guess, is easier because it's the less days, it's 12 instead of 15 of raids. And you get some cataphracts that you can use, but be careful with them. Uh, and you're going to have, like, side cast and stuff like that. So, the actual easiest. And that, like I said, that's a lot of the reason for that is that you just have three less days. Slave ship? Crap. Don't leave yet, Christopher. Hang on, let's draft you. Hamster Interstellar. Uh, let's see. I'm just selling children. Here we go. All right, they're not selling any tough people, so. I'm just going to continue going with the trade that we're doing. What is auto slaughter? They added auto slaughter with ideology. So if you go into the animal menu and you click manage auto slaughter, this is not a mod. You can set up to automatically kill when you get over a certain amount. You can do like, you know, I want to keep one male, but all the females, or I want to keep one female, all the males, or anything in between. You can set up whether they kill pregnant animals or not, whether they kill oldest first, or, you know, t tell them not to kill bonded. Um, yeah, so this is just a way you can just automatically do all that stuff uh, without a mod or anything, and they'll just, they'll just do it. They'll just do it. Very, very nice, especially if you're playing something like uh, Ranchers or something. Yeah, it's just in the game, just in the game. Prisoner blood farm in a cave behind your colony. <laughs> what if bugs spawn back there? Eh. Taking the tough child might, yeah, I don't know. I would probably consider it, right? So if we had, if we found a tough child, I might, I might keep them just in case we don't find anything else. But yeah, it's not ideal. All right, I'm going to do something very dangerous. I'm going to unrestrict for right now because Cassandra should be on cooldown for a little bit. Let's check. Last raid. Fourteenth. Ooh, she's like coming off cooldown at the end of this day. So, yeah. Can't cancel that for now. <laughs> Doesn't mean she's going to attack us that day, but it means she could again. Can you turn off in a bit, type in a run you've already started? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I've never done any like save editing, but someone had a similar question last week and um, there was something about a save edit. That you can change the scenario after you've started. So yeah, I, I don't know. I've never, I've never dabbled into that. I'm sure like if there's a mod for it, you know, probably do that, but. All right, um, let's look for shield belt. They don't have those. Uh, they have another cataphract helmet, so we'll probably grab that while we're here. Um, what else? What else? Trainers. None of that works for us. Architect eye would be awesome, but no tech print. So. Should probably start checking jeans as well. All right, sell those goats. Sell that child into slavery. Um, sell the what into what now? Sell, 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 sell the child, child into slavery. Perhaps I'm not hearing you. Oh, you heard me. Yeah, 
And we'll get all their money. All their money. Okay, Chris, will I hit this place up? Trade with Bopinata? No. <laughs> use the Tuscan glands and the like. They're they're not great, but I would use them in this run if we get them, yeah. You just realized bugs are gonna eat your blood for me. That's why I asked. Yeah. Let's go in Hex. <laughs> I loaned him to another colony. Is there any difference keeping gold over silver? Gold is very valuable. Yeah, it's very high wealth. Um, obviously gold is used for materials, mainly making advanced components. So it's up to you if you want to keep it. I don't want to keep it around right now because it's just making raids harder. Ah, uh, no shield belt again. Hmm. Find a garm there. Um, let's see. Trainers. We got plants. Eh. Jeans, really. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, I need to take the barrels and sell them, right? Fast learner, greedy. I didn't even check this the other one. Tough job. Why? Why? Oh. Kanto. Kanto, you're wasting your potential. What is this? Why, Kanto? Ouch. Oof. Man, that sucks. Tough jogger. Good at mining, planting, construction. You were the chosen one. <sighs> you were the chosen one. All right. Well, on we go. Probably want to sell him. Uh, I use it as a meat shield still. Nah. Yeah, plenty of meat shields. I, I meat shields coming all the time. I wish there was a replace brain with computer operation for times like that. Yeah, it's pretty rough. The rhinoceros. An 11 year old child is calling nearby. Please, sir. There's 11 rhinoceros. No. Click. Uh, what is up with Cassandra and Manhunters today? Thirty-five Timberwolves, twenty-six hundred raid points still. Okay. Right. There are puppies outside. Puppies. Experiment all over again. Yeah. Experiment. Splash one, you're also missing a leg. All right, well, I guess we'll give you a leg when I get back home. Yes. On the ride, but how are you giving all those genes to the slaves when it take a super long time to get them all? No. Well, it, I mean, it takes two years. So. We took one archite gene, and the archite gene is implant genes. So every two years, we're able to give another person our genes. Slavery overcome. Well, I'm not looking for this. I'm looking for specifically people to um, to elevate to melee godhood. You know. Share the genes. Share the load. You know about that archite gene? Yeah, it's, it's usually on single phase. You can have them on other people too. Share the load. You only have one good pair of genes? <laughs> but yeah, there's like a 2.2 year cooldown on the on the gene thing. So every every 2.2 years, we can basically double our population. And we're not... That's part of the, the gimmick of the run or whatever. Uh, actually, should run. We'll explain a little bit more, but... That's part of it. So shield belts. Okay. Uh, no tech print. Aggressive. 
Uh, let's see. When do you guys reset? 25 days. Can't trade with the Empire. It'll take us quite a while. I wonder if we can get... What's the timer on this? 1.1 days. And then we're going to have almost two days back home. Oof. Hopefully they're all right with Christopher not being there. If we get attacked by something. Move your mouse slightly and it says unrecognized USB. <laughs> So I need someone good at art, too. Go, Christopher, go. He's about to cross the desert on a horse with a name. The horse has a name now. That name killed in action. Oh, my God. Why are you guys related? Why are you here now? Oh, crap, Dax. You're 51. You're tough, though. Tough crafter. Miner. All right. If we can save Dax and JT, I don't know that we can. I don't think so. Can't choose your family. Well... I thought the name was Kia, like the car. It's all capitalized, so it's gotta be killed in action. <laughs> oh, Dax and JT, yes! If those two get away, they're not getting away. Look at this. Those are the two that need to not die, but... Of course. Of course. This was the most important one not to die. Who was he related to? Lumberjack. My son died. <sighs> good ones in there and say, wow, my tune, that's a great gene pool for melee only. There's a lot of good ones and a lot of bad ones to even out. Yeah. Jalter, World Pond genes to buff them, but have your own custom without those global genes. I'm not sure. Maybe. I know you can do that with ideologies, so probably. How's my gene combos and metabolism? It's neutral. Yeah, it's the same, basically. Well, actually, it's a little less because we have a lot of negatives. So they eat 10% less. Pretty good. Look at a pond's happiness for a second. Uh, okay. There you go. Psychite T plus 12. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Does Gormon stack with metabolism? Yes, unfortunately. Yes. You don't see the scroll bar on mood every day? No. <laughs> Still got plenty of food. So. I might even up here. Chris was crossing some large hills on his own with a horse right now. Like 3,800 silver. <laughs> God. But his, his caravan wealth is under 10,000, so should be fine. Oh, they got slaves. All these slaves are incapable of violence. No belts, um, attack prints, armor. Okay. Crafting trainer, we might grab that. I'm gonna check this one first. Why were there red? Uh, oh, pack survival meals. So they changed the graphics a while back to show what something's made out of. 
So these ones contain meat, so they, um, they're red. And these ones are vegetarian because it's insect jelly. And apparently insect jelly is somehow vegetarian, I guess. So that's why. Yeah, they changed the color of all the meals to quickly show the type of contents that are in them. Clones and Jack jeans. <laughs> yeah, that's what we've been doing. Yeah, we've been looking like crazy. That's, uh, that's right. Yeah, I was thinking vegan for some reason. It is vegetarian, not vegan. That's right. That's right. It's literally not meat, so. Or is it? There's a raid. And Chris was not here. I was worried about this. First from multiple angles, attack immediately. All right. All right. Chris, I don't want the pop up from you, so just go there. Multiple angles, multiple angles. Crap, man. Um. So, like, almost 30 raiders. Center, get in there. All right, these guys are going to be over here alone. Let's pop out and get them. Wait, is it all melee? No, it's not. So. Back in. Okay, there's two coming up here. Okay, we can pop out and get those few. Divide and conquer. Okay, back in. Okay, those ones are coming to break some stuff over there. That works for me. Take your go juice. Go juice. Go juice. Okay. Those are all melee ones coming, so we can just stand our ground for those ones. Holding three on center or whatever. Okay, first group is going. Second group's gone. Nice. It's killed like 30 something. Person raid. Big win. Is this hammer better than Uranium Maces, Mono Swords, and DPS? Better than Uranium Maces, but not. It, it depends, yeah. Mono Swords and Zeus Hammers both are better in different situations, so it just depends. But Mono Swords and Zeus Hammers are the same tier. Uranium Maces are a much lower kind of tier. And he really wants to make fun of Lumberjack. Jeez. Okay. All right. So that was two events. So we are good now. So I'm going to go ahead and allow everything. 
And I'm gonna let these guys be unrestricted. And Christopher can go trade. Nice. Going, it's going pretty well today. Yeah, pretty well. Got EQ. Lumberjacks are stupid. Armor targets like bugs and trials. Zoosamer is going to. And like the Zoosamer has the EMP hit too, right? So it, honestly, it just depends. It's good to have a mixture. And that's what we're going to do in this run is have a mixture of Monoswords and Zoosamers. So. Uh, Shadow Swept. Thank you for the resub. 16 months. Almost a full calendar year. That's right. All right, let them do their stuff here while Christopher trades and he needs to get back home. Okay, so tech print, they have none. Shield belt, they have none. No helmets. No armor that we want. They have no slaves. Uh, okay, so it's going to be a while since we can or we can trade again. We have 3,700. 3,700 is pretty close. So like right around... And we, we could actually buy the cataphract tap print if we could find it. Ship might have it. Do I want to sit on that much silver hoping for a ship? I don't know. Not sure. All right, let's get this. We'll grab the uh, crafting trainer from this one, then we'll head back home. I have a bionic leg. Yeah, they do, but I'm looking. The only people missing legs are slaves. It's fine. Are we going high wealth eventually for this? Yes, yeah. Did I get my factor order? Yeah, yeah, I already ate. We've already eaten. That's what we've had for dinner all week long, yeah. I went over it on uh, Wednesday. Yeah, it's a little sad. in the middle of Wednesday's stream. It's It's been really good. It's been really good. For anyone that hasn't seen, if you go to exclamation factor, this is only good for January. It is a prepared uh, food service and it's 60% off with my deal. And every single person that orders from Factor, um, I can't tell you how much, but every single order actually gives me quite a bit. It actually is usually the same amount or more than how much you're spending, which is kind of nuts. So it's almost like you're donating to me and you're getting all the food. And we have liked it. We've eaten it every single night. It's been really good, really good. Like it for the price of 60% off, like I'm not going to comment on the full price, but for the 60% off, which makes it like $4 a meal, if it was always $4 a meal, I wouldn't just eat it for dinner. I would literally eat it for like every meal of the day. It's been very, very good. I've been actually surprised. This is like the fourth food thing that I've done. And this one's been the best one for prepared meals, like way better than the other ones. So I've really enjoyed it so far. If you want to try it out, Exclamation Factor is the link. Um... And there's more information about it in my Discord. There is a channel in there that says active sponsors. It's only good for January. The deal is only good for the US. So for dollars a meal is pretty good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, it's been really good. I have to catch myself like like last night I ate two of them again. So like, because it was just so good. It's like saw some pictures in Discord look great. It's it's been really good. Yeah. I've enjoyed it. My my daughter has liked all of hers. One of the great things about it too, and about any meal service like that, is everyone can get, they all, they only, they take seven minutes in the oven, right? Seven minutes, that's it. And me, my wife, my daughter all just chose what we individually wanted because they all take the same amount of time to heat up in the oven. And so some nights, you know, I'm having something that my wife, my daughter wouldn't really like, but I really enjoy. And otherwise I wouldn't, I wouldn't get that chance, you know, because we all, I'm going to make multiple dinners, but with this we could. Hey, look at that. Four refugees. Wow, we might can do some tough shopping here. All right, we're definitely going to accept that quest. Pigs. Oh, not all pigs. Nudist. Delicate. That's the opposite of what we want. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been really pleasantly surprised. I know some people wanted to wait until I actually tried the meals to know. Which I super understand, but yeah, it's been really good so far. And every day, some of the people that have gotten him, like Christopher, every day Christopher comes in, he's like, this is what the factor meal I had today was, and it was delicious. What did you have? And we like share that back and forth, so. Really good. Uh, none of these are real candidates for what we want, but we will have them work while they're here.
not really great at, <laughs> at much either. Can't have Zug do some artwork while he's here. That would be, that'd actually be kind of good if he can get some of those out. Uh, all right. That seems all right. And we'll leave them unrestricted. I think I'm actually going to put them on uh, triphasic so they don't break down as much because they're definitely going to dislike all of our stuff. I got some questions on the dwarf run when I started using triphasic schedule and uh, several people commented and, and were like, wait, you can't just set their schedule like that because they'll literally never do anything. They'll only recreate and sleep. That's not how this works. Uh, it's explained in my schedule guide. They do not do four blocks of recreation. What it means is if they need recreation during any of that time, they'll do recreation if they need it. But if they don't, they won't. So exclamation SCH, exclamation SCH, or just search for Rimworld schedule guide on YouTube. Uh, and it goes over all the ins and outs of how schedules work. Or sacrificial slaves, maybe, maybe. US only for the deal, yeah. Been playing since up loaded the pain is virtue runs, so maybe six hundred hours isn't a lot in ten months. That's a lot for I think most people, yeah. I, I have way more hours, of course, because it's my job to play, but Thanks, Gold Dragon. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it's in the guide, yep. Yeah, thank you. Is it what? They skip it, yeah. It becomes basically an anything block if they don't need it, yeah. So another person was commenting even on the schedule guide and was saying like, they were like, I don't like setting them to four hours of sleep because what if they need eight? Four, three, six, eight, it doesn't matter. What they do if there's a sleeping block, as long as there's no work block, actual work or meditate at the end of it, if there's an anything block or recreation or sleep, they'll sleep until they're done, until the rest bar is full. So this is actually effectively the same as doing this. It's effectively the same as doing this. The only benefit to having more is if they are traveling uh, to their bed and you don't want them to skip the whole block on their way. So, but anyway, all that's in my scheduling guide up on YouTube, exclamation SCH, get there right away. Or you can, uh, you can search for RimWorld schedule guide. Okay, that's Empire. Why well, can't real life work that way? Yeah, you just have a meter that you top up and you're completely 100% good. They have like no wood. Alright, Christopher's on his way back. Christopher, Christopher. And then um, as soon as he's reset, we'll go back out. So 26 days on that. It's going to be a while. We're almost ready for our festivals. I like chess? Yeah. yeah, I haven't really played chess in a long time, but I still watch it occasionally while I'm eating or something in the morning. Yeah. Reaper. Keep balance learning work for kids, or do you just leave them to anything locks? Uh, yeah, a lot of times I just set kids to all anything. Yep. For their schedule. Social fight. What's up, Zug? Zug called Krek's son a hamster. Their parents smell of elderberries. Thanks, gamer girl. Welcome in. I might gift those to purple because we're barely over neutral with them. Maybe even the Empire. You understood that reference? Uh, his father smelt of elderberry.
Uh, or, you know what? Let's just call in another pig trader. Might as well. Crack, let's go ahead and call the pigs. Um, let's actually call in exotic goods for this one. And then a bolt next. I know exotic goods is not really going to buy much of the stuff that we have going on, but I want to see that for sale. Dream break on one of the visitors. They trade in pigs? I don't know. Pig men, yeah. yeah. It's biotech. Biotech, biotech, biotech. All right. This is almost home. Oh, let's see, 204, okay. Hey, right, Christopher. Grab that horse. Biotech keyword, Mechanitor. Keyword biotech, biotech, biotech. People got angry about that. I actually had someone post like on episode like, I don't know, 13 or something of the first biotech run. It was like, man, you saying keywords in the beginning of your video. I already split it. Yeah, thank you. It's going to make me stop watching you. It was just a joke I was doing anyway. It was like, they said something like, um... It's not a big deal, by the way. It doesn't bother me. But they said something like, the first two minutes of a video is what really gets people to keep watching. I was thinking, it's episode 13 of three-hour episodes. So I think you're more than two minutes in to know that I'm joking at the beginning of that. But Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they started with episode 13 for some reason. All right. Uh, so Christopher is... He does have great memory. Let's just use the crafting thing on him, unless we have someone. Mind Freeze. Mind Freeze is already doing so much. Yeah, we're going to use it on Christopher, I guess. I guess, I guess. Lucky number 13, something like that. You're not caravanning for a week, but you decide to leave the horse at the edge of the map when you get home. It's mainly when you don't have a pin. It's going to do it less when there's a pin. All right, so his crafting now is up to eight, so we can have him make a shield belt. Do we actually need two? Yeah, I'm going to make two. The council. Where a pack of animals get lost. By the caravan or something. Yeah, like caravan events other than just you got attacked. Yeah, that would be nice. That would be nice. Right, shield belt. Uh, and we are going to do a festival here. Looking for joint events. Got my psychic tea. Good L. Thank you for the lurk. I like a hidden stash right? or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm... I've never looked, but I'm I'm curious now if there are mods for like caravan events, more caravan events or something. Do it again. Because I flow. Let Jiggy draw jaw to the dirty day. Ah, uh, waffles. Thank you for the 888 bits. Thank you, waffles. Tread lightly. This is Boo's domain. Yoshi. The time has come 
for a medi rave. That's the one. Perfect. Thanks, Wayne. No joins. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. The time has come for a medi rave. Man, that matches pretty well, actually. <laughs> hey, Wanderer. All right, again. The time has come for a medi rave. <laughs> How messy this place is they're dancing in. Boring. Again. The time has come for a medi rave. <laughs> I need that as a mod that just plays when you do the dance party. Oh, there's a fight. This is this has got to be an exciting party. Ariadne compared Mind Freeze to a locust. Oh man, we only got one joint event out of six. Ouch. 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 How do you get six dance parties? When you make your ideology, you can add up to six rituals. So just add six of them. That's it. Dance party, uh, you can't get that as a tribal. Tribals have drum parties instead. They effectively do the same thing, though. But uh, yeah, when you make your custom ideology, you can add up to six rituals. Well. That sucks. Uh... We got one year left, so we have four more sets of those, basically. Everyone knows the best kind of fun is forced fun. Fun mage, welcome in. Make them dance till they drop, literally. That's right. All right, we need to get some uh, steel scanned as well nearby. So I can start pushing some stuff here. Incredible subtle nuances and oh, of each of the six dance parties. Okay, I misread that at first. We find four good ponds. Yeah, we have one, so I would love to find three more. Three more. We have one candidate back here tough you can do arts oh right i was gonna have one of these guys do art while he was here i don't know if we have time how long are they gonna be here 19 days oh yeah we got time unless they betray us but betrayal um i don't think we have an art bench down already do we betrayal Yeah. All right. Uh, make large sculpture Do forever. Stone blocks. All right. There you go. Have fun. Or don't. What do I care? Okay. Um, let's change that one, actually. Marble. There we go. 
Okay. How many colonists do we have now? Uh, we have four actual colonists. Yeah. It's suspended. That was, yeah, that was on purpose. Oh, I got the other stuff set up. All right, there's the exotic goods we called in. What's the best melee weapon for violence? Basically, hmm, Persona, Monosword, or Zeus Hammer, depending on the situation. With a gladiator arena? Uh, eh. Eh. Whatever. Okay. Oh, another crafting trainer. A gleaming endowment. We'll get that, I suppose. There's a tough skin gland, but we'll get that. We'll get that. Waffles. Thank you for the elite bits. Gotta go out and meet friends. Have a good stream, man. Waffles. Thank you again for all the support. Um, yeah, eternally grateful. Waffles. Have a good time. Be safe. Be safe. And thank you again. Um, yeah, it's fine. So on Christopher now, let's take him off of growing, put him on smithing, tailoring, crafting. There we go. There we go. So Christopher now uh, is up to 10 crafting. That's where great memory really kicks in. So he's basically never going to fall below 10. That's a great memory. Where are the cat helmet? Not your main pawn. Uh, because I just snagged it before I realized when I brought it back. That's all. It was just automated. Just automated. Quick sleeper jogger. Not a lot of tough pawns in this world to say. Apparently. Go and chill, welcome in. Goat, welcome in. Slave wanted to know how it felt to be a real pawn for just a little bit. Just a little bit. We need to get Nutramine. Uh, do you guys have Nutramine? Okay, so that we can actually go out and buy pretty easily. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Which one's actually closer? 0.74 without the horse. Point three, okay. All right, Christopher. Send you out to get some Nutramine. All right. Because mm -hmm. it's part of the run. We're just not, we're just not messing with children this run the last like two or three runs we've really relied on raising god children but not this time i deal with slave rebellions uh we've been killing them yeah yeah we, we just usually kill them <laughs> so. how do i prevent them i don't you can't prevent them even if they're 100 percent suppressed they can still have a chance to uh have a rebellion but we are having them wear slave clothing and we're keeping them suppressed um you know, so slave rebel rebellion interval. So on average, they'll rebel every nine years if they stay at 100 percent, nine and a half years. But it is technically still possible, even though it's a low roll, it can still happen. Yeah, they have two pieces of slave clothing on. They have both the strap and the neck piece, which helps a lot. And then I have Christopher set to priority um, suppression. Basically, part of the uh, the social stat. 
Twice per day, then. Alright. So... Buy the Nutramine. We actually check the other settlement for Han specifically. I don't think we did. Go check that while we're out here. It's very fast. All right, let's look at Cassandra here. Cassandra hit us last on the 8th of April, Mary. So we got about two more days before she's off cooldown so we can mine this without really worrying. Okay. They're leaving. I think I'm gonna keep calling in traders from those guys or because I'm gonna shop for pawns with them. As long as we can re-ally them. What are the genes regen? Uh, a little less than a year, a little less than a year. And right now we only have one candidate, so we need three more candidates uh, within a year. So we're doing join event rituals on cooldown, calling in traders and looking through those. Uh, ancient dangers have been uh, great so far. We're gonna keep doing ancient dangers. Uh, they do not have any. Okay. All right. Head on home. Head on home. Ambrosia. Good luck, Ambrosia. Good luck, Ambrosia, but there's no sun. Cooldown starts at the second raid. Keep track if it's a win raid. So that's what you have to look at. So if... Cassandra only, I mean, it basically always works out this way. I'll show you on here. It's, it'll be easier to see. You see how when she hits us once, um, it's basically the same gap. But when she hits us twice, they're pretty close together. They're usually within about a day and a half apart. So basically, if you've been hit with Cassandra and you don't get hit by her again for two days, you know that she was already on cooldown. You just have to, if you want to really look into it, keep track of it. That's the way to do it. Like, all right. Cassandra's hit us once. Let's let's hunker down for two days and see if she hits again. If she doesn't, we know that she's on cooldown and we got a few days that we can do, you know, whatever we want. But, but if she hits you twice, you know you're good for six days. If she's only hit you once and you waited, you're probably good for four. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Was the queue reset? The queue was not reset, but what happens with Twitch is I think it's like 90 days or something. If you have your points waiting for in like the channel point thing for a long enough, Twitch just refunds them if they've not been done. So that might be what happens. You might have had some some entries for like 90 days that didn't get pulled. And so Twitch is like, all right, well, streamer forgot. So here's your points back. You can, uh, can re-up with them if you want. All right. So I think I'm going to start getting some flooring down. I want to make some more of these. Holy crap. Look at all those people entering the queue. An outfall come in. I'm thinking about saving. Yeah, that's, that's what happens. A lot of channel points being spent right now. They have to up the up the cost to the magic word. No. Do I know who has the most in the queue right now? I don't. Or in the raffle. Hey. Arts. Got blacklist the word. <laughs> There's no command for it, no. A gleaming endowment. Gonzo! Gonzo, thank you again. Thank you for the thousand bits. Thousand bits. Thank you, Gonzo. Much appreciate again. Remember streams have been very powerful in your quest for infinite points. Oh yeah, because of the wagering, yeah. yeah. 
I should put some kind of like point redemption for like millions. See if anyone ever gets to it. So for anyone that doesn't know, on uh, Wednesday and Thursday, I play Total War Warhammer 3 on Legendary difficulty. And before the battles, we do a wager. There's a three option um, wager that pops up. So whether I'm going to get a heroic or decisive victory, a Pyrrhic or close victory, or if I'm going to lose. And so with the three choices, uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of channel points change, exchanging hands or changing hands rather. So it's fun though. All right, so the reason I'm putting concrete there first is I want the little bit extra boost of speed as we're going through. Shuttleborn attack. They want three soldiers. Kill three wasters. That would be very easy. We might just do this for the loot. The downside is if these guys um, betray us in that little bit of time we're gone, we're going to have a really bad time. Really bad time. At one point, was that on stream? It was not on stream, no. No, I played with my wife. Hmm. And the they could end up being tough, right? The wasters, so. Um yeah, let's go do that. Alright. An away quest. Zoop. Alright, mind freeze. If these guys rebel or not rebel, I'm <laughs> They betray, you're going to have to beat all four of them to death with your hammer. Got to say on sale. It's a really good game, yeah. I, I kind of want to go back and play it again because I'm almost like re-blind to it. My wife and I got it when it first came out and we played through it in just like a few days or something, right? I remember very little. I'm assuming I would remember quite a bit as I'm playing though, but I could do that and then play the sequel. Yes, toxify us. Oh, whatever would we do if you threw toxic grenades at us? Industrious bloodlust ascetic. Industrious ascetic crafter. Hmm. All right, well, they're all dead, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, all right. Oh, well, just the quest stuff. My lever royal aesthetic still, yeah. Yeah, that one was actually a, a candidate until we killed him. Keyboard mouse. Oh yeah, I always play those games with controller, yeah. I don't know how people play it with anything else, but I mean, if, if you're not used to playing controller, I can understand either way, but we don't have one. What are the cages? Uh, usually those are just corpses, yeah. And the gibbet cages. Was that a quest? It was a quest, yeah. Quest complete. Proof is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> it is quite different. All right, we're back. We're back. Uh, we still got a day or so for Sanders off cooldown. Almost time to convert this into a real barracks as well, I would say. On fighting each other, do melee attacks cancel the rival pawn's attack if it hits faster? Uh, I think only if it stuns. Only if it stuns, I think. You seen Xbox controllers play together sometime? I just plug a 
I just plug a PlayStation 4 I did, PlayStation 4 controller in, that's what I use. And now I'm using PlayStation 5 on my PC. Just plug and play, just plug and play. Although the problem with it is uh, I have Xbox prompts on a lot of games. <laughs> I use a PS5 controller on PC with Xbox prompts. What possibly could go wrong? Use your PS4 controller. Yeah. Steam sports all of them, yeah. It's natively these days. Sonic Goods. And this world has like so few tough ones. Jeez. Gee willikers. Franken gaming. Press Y, I'm like, oh, uh, triangle? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, sell you the barrels, I guess. Shield belts are complete. Okay, so... Um, I think I'm just going to have those on all of them, and then... Hey, what happened to the other one? One of those slaves put it on? Yep. And then I think we'll manually use the, um, the low shields if we need them. Depending on the raid. Run DS4 Windows in order to make PS4 controller work. I've I've never had to do that. I I used to do that when I had a PlayStation 3 controller back in the day. But yeah, DS4. Um, I I know that program. I've had to use it. But no, my PS4 controller has just been plug and play on on Steam for a long time. There are some older games where it will um it will screw up. In that case, you can play in big picture mode or whatever it is on Steam, and then it'll work without the DS4 Windows. But Everyone's setup is so different from one another. Never know what's causing what, but yeah, that's that's how I I have mine. Why are the fences in the bedroom? Because that's just causing beauty. A jade fence has ten beauty and it only costs one jade. Jade wall has ten beauty but costs five jade, so that's just art, making the bedroom impressive. Just art. Fire Maniac, Fire Spitter Race. Building run, <laughs> guaranteed fun. <laughs> Problem with Impids, as far as our fire breathing, the fire breathing's on a five day cooldown per Impid. Kind of, kind of annoying. Oh. Join offer on Zug. Um, nope. PS4 Windows is a um, a program that gives you options for game controllers on on your on your PC. Yeah. It has lots of different options there where you can rebind the the buttons and all kinds of stuff. It's just like a free program for, for that if you if you need it. Wow. Zug asked to join, we said no, and he immediately gets into social fight and gets almost killed. We try to convert him, and we ripped his friggin' ear off. Who are you, Christopher? Mike Tyson? Christopher, or Mike Tyson. For short. For short? Wait a minute, that's longer. Two years? Well, had, had, had two years. Eighteen melee run in a war call school. Maximum level reached. The insatiable D tier three, fifty-five months. That is a long time. Thank you, insatiable. Much appreciate. Also, much love to insatiable. Toll house, welcome in. 
How long is this cooldown? Still 15 days ago. All right, we're going to get some concrete tile down to increase our run speed as we're going through here. But Adam, that's going to destroy those mushrooms. It's fine. Movement speed is more important right now. We can grow mushrooms anywhere we want. Hang on, I'm gonna check something out. Sure. Reply to you. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, there's like there's like four different conversations. It's fine. Alexander should be off cooldown. Yeah. Chairs a hero. Do, 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 do. Uh, so after the next Cassandra hits, we'll go search for some more ancient dangers. That was uh, that was going pretty well. Eric's is that very impressive with the flowers? I need some more statues before we can get it very impressive without flowers. And they are zooming. Uh, no, I'm not using them wirelessly now. No, I plugged mine into PC. Infestation. Make some like little buildings to deal with these. Going out, Aries. I just had the friggin' door open, but okay. Alright. Counter to melee block, I know, yeah, because they've eaten so much of it. We've melee blocked there before, but I don't want it to grow indefinitely either. So concrete races yeah they're both trying to put them down <laughs> thought there's an infestation in your base <laughs> throw a match and have a barbecue i literally can't this is a melee only run I, i'm not allowed to throw anything can you fill it all up you don't want infestation yeah you can infestations are relatively easy to take care of as long as you don't run into the the targeting bug with them hmm Eight mega spiders. Those are the only parts that's uh, scary. We'll wait until they go to bed, go to bed, go to sleep, and then I think we'll be fine. Makeshift burn box. I can't set it on fire unless I put a fire IED in there. But that would that would mean as soon as it goes off, they just rush to attack our base, 
Right, he's allowed, yeah. They are. Go sleep, bugs. I'll just set something up for next time that we can use for melee blocking over here. There's a spot in the air that we could use two. There's two. This might actually be okay right here. Something we're going to come around the outside, but... Overall, I think we'd still be fine. Army of Boom Rats. <laughs> I want to take care of this before another raid happens. Let's just go. Alright, so we're going to go through here and we're going to do some go juice on everyone. Enough go juice. Anything's possible. Challenge run, tease the door for run. No, I already finished that one. Yeah, it's behind. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll get it caught up now that we're, you know, we have editors and stuff. But no, I already finished the the one I teased on that run. Oh my god, the stupid bug is happening. Well, they weren't auto hitting. I could that could kill us. So now mind freeze is super surrounded. Goju slow is gonna put in some serious work. Mind freeze, can you get out of there? You're on Goju, so Mind Freeze is the only one that's not tough. He has a robust, but. Mark these so I can see them a little bit easier. Okay. All right, mine freeze. Oh, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Feeling you know, Mind Freeze. Done, Grum. Welcome in. Yeah, that's a different one, Gav. Yeah. That one will be coming to YouTube as soon as the door runs done on YouTube. Never encountered it before. The, uh, just this run twice already. Yeah. Yeah. It, I don't know that something specific. It's not a mod based thing. Um, there's a save file in the Discord that uh, Smurf tested and posted where there's no mods at all and you can. You can load it up and see the bug happen. I don't, I don't know. It seems to be almost per se file though, where it screws up. Let's see here. Let's go to manage outfits. Slave. I already have that set. So. Just got to make sure. You can't change theirs. Oh, no, no, no. Those are visitors, my man. Like, that seems odd. I don't remember it being like that before. There we go. Throw event pin on anything, or is it completely random? It is random now, yeah. But it is determined when they first spawn in. Uh, if Now they've changed it that if the people come with children, they won't betray you. So if... if the refugees come and they have children with them. They will no longer betray you. And that's the only tell. There used to be a different tell. But, uh, anymore. This is that law, man. Compared correct to a mugger.
So you need to get up and start working on some art. Work on some art. You can use one of these soothe posters while they're here so they have less breakdowns. Eh. Lawman got mugged. <laughs> Mega Slaws. Um, 12 manhunting Mega Slaws. This guy could be a tough pawn, so we should take him. We should we should check, I should say. Faster or nimble? That one's actually pretty tempting. Uh, let's see what this guy is, though. All right. Nug for <laughs> to the melee god. That's right. Depending depending on what he comes with. He's forty eight. A pretty psychopath. Forty eight. Thirty three hundred points of Mega Slaws. Oh my god. Hey, hey. All right, whatever. No disease, okay. More animals. Imagine 3,300 Mega Slots, game would just crash. Just crash. This weekend, your next video is a 2020 birthday stream. Oh yeah, that's an old one, yeah. Feels old anyway. Three years. Three years. 2020 was three years ago, jeez. We're not getting a lot of scans today. We've only gotten a couple all day long. There's none close enough to really deal with how'd you get the circular altar that's just what the small altar looks like there's like there's different sizes of altars the small one is just a, a circle that's just what it looks like Guarlin, i think not she was having your three years behind Sure is something happening. Oh, the tiny map? You haven't seen the tiny map at all. Tiny map was fun. We should do one of those again someday. Back then, 500% didn't even exist yet, so... Tiny map, 500% might have to be in our, our horizon. Beggars hope for charity. Um... Yeah, I'm sure these mega stalls will give you some charity. Oh my god, are you guys actually going to open a door over there? Oh, here comes the charity. Hey, what's this? Alright, whatever. Life is pain. Oh no, I've, I've done this. How could I possibly betray these poor people? What's wrong with me? This is me. 
travelers have been betrayed. Yeah, 50 on the sloth. I'm so sorry I have done this to you. My bad. I blame Adam. How could you? How could you have done such a thing? More drugs, make more drugs. Also need to call in more pig people. Do you blame me? 23, okay. How long until these reset? 17 days, 17 days. 12 on that, so a little after the rituals are ready. St. Peter will be laughing at that mission. Death by Slaw. Gun for Mantis. Six points off of reform. I guess reform will just uh, redo our festivals. Oh, another. Make this building larger. Go into the more traditional barracks sometime. Rare thrombos. Four thrombos. Probably beat one of them to death if they're like off on their own, you know? Especially with these weapons that can stun. Food poisoning from raw fungus. Sucks for you. I want to trade some of that fungus. Try it. Uh, if there's one by itself, I would, but I'm not fighting five thrombo. <laughs> How long until I can double up again? Uh, 53 days, 53 days. We only have one candidate right now for the, for the uplifting. Just one. Do you have any more jade? We have a little... Little, a little. Ah, you can take him. We could melee block. All right, there is one by itself. You guys want to see this? I shouldn't do it because Cassandra's not off cooldown. <laughs> Imagine we get beat up by this thrombo. It rips off a leg or something, and then Cassandra hits us. There's no reason to do this. Other than to see if we can. Easy. <laughs> what is this? Ooh, we actually got a... Spine damaged. The other one's coming to see what's going on. It was what's what's happening here. What's going on here? Hey, Phil, you all right? Betrayal. Good friggin' luck. A gleaming endowment. And there's a raid. Okay. Uh, approaching multiple angles, preparing for a while. We got 28 tribal over there and 27 here. Ouch. Gonzo! Thrumbo bits. Thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you. Thank you Gonzo. I almost said thank you, Thrumbo. <laughs> I'm their friend over for dinner. Uh, 
All right. <laughs> Biggest raid yet. Called it. Fight through mode. Get hard, hit hard with the raid. Yeah. Over 50 raiders. 50 raiders. Our tribal. That extremely impressive now. Yeah. Okay. But let's see where they go. Most trials sounds more than fair to you. to work towards the auto doors. What the crap? Why is he just running after the slaves? Yeah, I gotta get auto doors. I think that's what we'll go invest our next bit of stuff in. That's going to help so much of this. And group one is done. Major break on center while well, you were dying, so It'll be all right. All right, GG. Uh, let's take a look here. A rounder. Sanguine trigger happy. Oh, that would be so good in a normal run. It's already pretty good anyway. 
Well, I'm looking for tough. Looking for tough. Anyone? Anyone? Tough? Nope. All right. Wow, all the things. Make your door path three wide in the middle so you get to attack three. I had it like that initially. I had the door out like that, but I don't want to actually fight them in the doorway. I want, that's why I was talking about auto doors. I want to get out there and hit them while they're hitting the walls. So it's really important that we have a lot of wall area for them to attack. That's why it's like how it is now. But I guess it's just a trade off, you know? Just trade off. Were they all unwavering? Or are you talking about the one that looked like a really good pawn? Going win Snape? Not real. Mm -hmm. All right, so that was the second hit. So Cassandra will be off, or I mean, on cooldown now. So, um. Go hit some Ancient Dangers. Hope we find some pawns there. Okay. I think I might also go ahead and buy some uh, some better arms. A gleaming Mind freeze. Endowment. A wrist or rat. A wrist rat. Thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you, rat. Very much appreciate it. Welcome in. Uh, yeah, there's a YouTube channel. Lots of playthroughs, uh, edited playthroughs going up right now, and lots of guides as well. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just hit the Ancient Danger. There's also an Ancient... Oh, yeah, I need to do the Ancient Complex still. We'll do those as well. Let's hit this up first. Uh, we're going to take everyone aside from Mind Freeze. Supplies. I should make them some bed rolls for this. I can survive meals. We'll take some extras just in case. Hit the road. Let's see what we can get. Long sleep to the videos on YouTube. Waking up with a bunch watched farming views off of you. That is awesome. Man. It really helps. It does help. Thanks, Bagel. You're going to have to watch them again. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I should have had uh, Lumberjack cut those up before he left. Mind freeze, not a great cook. I mean, he could still cut them up, I guess. You know? At least the ones that are right here. That's slow, isn't it? All right, we're going to settle. We're doing the same thing. Right. Let's see here. Uh, looks like we got unlucky. I don't see an obvious ancient danger on this map. All right. Pack it up. Well, there's not that much to pack. Wait, are you guys still drafted? My bad. <laughs> oh, I hit R. Apparently I didn't. <laughs> All right. I meant to trade with the bolt goods for left too. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right. Mind freeze. those some more the abandoned tiles annoying to deal with what do you what do you mean band tiles just have 
this icon on it. Those are what you're talking about. We don't have to, we don't have to worry about them. And entirely we turn to a mining camp or something like that. I don't know, actually. I've never had some, one of them spawn on top of it, so. I'm not sure. It'd be kind of nice, though, because then it would, like, repopulate that tile. Will they block off-site events? Um, like, if you had this size of a ring that were all abandoned, I've never tried it. Yeah, that would be an interesting test. That would be interesting. <laughs> Let's try it. Well, I mean, we already have off-map problem causers, so we can't have another one outside of a quest one. We have two off-map problem causers at the moment. Mind freeze, you're not good at trading, but we'll look at what they have anyway. Give them some of this junk, I suppose. Here's not junk. Toss of things from spawning there, then presumably you could also use it to force spawn long range and roll scanner sites. That'd be incredibly tedious given the radius. Yeah, yeah, the radius on those are pretty big. That would be kind of awesome though. I mean, we are going to go through a lot of ancient danger sites, so I mean, we might get enough around this area to see what the long range mineral scanner would, would look like with it. That would be interesting. Imagine them spawning right next to it. I don't even know if they can spawn right next to it. Usually you need that, that one gap before you can uh, have any like other settlement or whatnot. I don't know if it applies to those also. Things to test. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. All right. There's ancient danger. Let's go. Like just one on this map. First, we'll pop that open. One Scyther. No, a Scyther and a Lancer. An excellent Persona Monosword. Nice. Let's check this out really quick. Hunger pangs and kill focused. Uh, so it basically turns a person into a gourmand. <laughs> I don't know. Oh crap, I keep forgetting to do this. Uh, well, we didn't take go juice with us this time. Oh no, I didn't click go juice on the other. T yeah, all right. On the other tile, I left our go juice. I was trying to rush. Well, that's not good. I mean, we're not going to be gone for more than five days for sure, but still. Ooh. Fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Way to go, Zippy. Way to go. Colin. That's right, one at a time. Just like they do in the movies. All right, Zippy, are you a tough pawn? Are you awesome? No. <laughs> no, you're not. 
All right. Um, we will pop this open. Strip all the people. Uh, Gab, they were using Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Gab. Counts same as a tier one sub. Probably knew this. Probably why you did it. By the way, it is much appreciated. All right. Um, so you're meditating at the friggin' tree? What's wrong with you? I mean, that would, that would be mean to say. A triple rocket launcher was what was in the hermetic crates. Well, kind of garbage. All right, uh, let's get back home. And we'll come back out, but I need to go get go juice because I left some behind on accident. Components, advanced components. Um, we'll take the ambrosia. I see another pulser. Crazy. Crazy. Take your golds. Eh, I'm not too worried about that stuff. Um, flak vest. Take the triple to sell, I guess. All right, good enough. Go home. Paste. Uh, make paste out of fungus and the colonists like fungus. Do they still get the bonus? Yes, they do. Doom breaker. How do you prevent your colonists from, uh, oh, are you going all the way around? I'm using beer bottles as a weapon for, uh, for slaves. You can give them something else, like, uh... Well, they shouldn't just pick it up on their own, anyway. Unless you mean when they're doing, like, a rebellion or something. Do the beer hidden? <laughs> Doom breaker. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, you get the rebellion just by walking by it. Yeah, you're gonna have to keep it in a separate room, I guess. Keep it hidden. That's good enough. I got, I got you. Yeah, I thought you meant they were uh, like equipping it on their own or something. But no, it's just counting as a weapon nearby for like um, problems with suppression. On their way back, we'll dump that stuff and then we'll go out again. How long until we have our rituals? Nine days. So let them uh, recuperate a little bit. Mood's really low. We get like crap loads of Soothe Pulsers. But uh, I think most of the people that have low mood right now are also psychically deaf. So perhaps it doesn't matter. Got a few things to do around here anyway. Power back up, finish those walls. Good. 
And with the barracks now, I wonder if we can get to very impressive just by flooring it. Maybe with enough jade. Those flowers are doing a lot of work right now, though. So we'll wait. We'll wait. What? What's what's happening with you? Cast on a breakdown. What a jerk. <laughs> what an inconvenience your life is to be right now. Sacrifice. Okay, how's our pollution going? Going pretty well. Pretty well. I think we should start polluting this down here. So maybe I'll mine this sometime. Start sewing in real life while we're watching. It's not snowed here in a while. Not since the whole, uh, whatever, Arctic event. Some gold floors. <laughs> uh, probably not with just four colonists. Yeah, probably not. Perhaps not advised. What wealth are we at? Uh, let's take a look. 133,000. So, the only reason raids are as small as they are is because we only have four pawns. Oh, uh, as soon as we... Oh, man. We're going to have really big raids as soon as we double up again. <laughs> you can't put carpets over gold floors. No, it just replaces it. The same... The same layer. Yeah, it really sucks that the gold floors are so, like, dull and muted colors. And what's weird about it is when you set up gold flooring to be put down, when they put the gold in place but haven't made the flooring yet, it looks really nice, bright, golden, like, yellow. And as soon as they make it, it's like, oh, mix vomit with it? What is this? What is this? That polluted. I put some of these around the map just to pollute more of the map. I don't think we're going to go out fighting very far, though. Uh, I mean, I don't know if we have a mech cluster or a siege. We will need that. So, that'd be worth doing. In the long run. just lives inside with us under our time yeah maybe at least like a few i think once we get this power set up i think so actually make them plasteel too be a good use of our current plasteel watching you bear watching you Okay, there he goes. He's like, Chris, what are you doing? Shouldn't you be making blocks? Quest really? Yeah, yeah, we got one of them. That's that's one way some of ours have uh, have spread. I don't want them, of course. We have tons of them in playthroughs, but that's the way it goes. All right, we'll get that one, and then we'll get uh, maybe a set of auto doors in a couple different places. I'll we'll have all the jelly I can go sell really quick, too.
how long until it goes three a day uh let's call in bulk goods there we go There we go. Go in orbit. Welcome in. I mean, Mechanitor, even if you only use melee bots. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. I, mean, I thought about it, I thought about it when I set up the run, like just using Scythers or something. But yeah, we, we did a pretty big Mechanitor run already. So it's like 18. I have a safe drug policy for each age. Safe drug baby is your favorite. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Very. That's very RimWorld. All right, uh, let's start with an auto door here. There we go, get that connected. Our first auto door. Just lots of babies OD. It's a formative moment. Uh, core memory has been unlocked. Overdose on Psychic T is baby. Oh, whoops. You're right. You're right. Slow down. What the tail of a human leather tail cap is? Never really thought too much into it, but seems to me like you already know the answer. <laughs> All right. All right, so we got a set there and uh, let's just do like the corners to start with. I have a ton of plastic, so it's a mullet. <laughs> Raw crates, questions you never thought would exist. Questions maybe that shouldn't shouldn't exist. All right, we'll get that one. Okay, some more days there. more plastic we got um yeah i think we're fine making one over here and one up there even made us right away speaking speaking of all right so we got one at that corner one at this yeah we'll just do them at the corners for now Using plasteel because it opens fast like steel auto doors, but it is not flammable and it is the highest HP door outside of mods. Okay, rip that one down. Look at that nice polluted animatry. All out playthrough. Pretty much. All right, um, 199 plasteel. Okay, we'll do, do this one. Mm -hmm. Favorite games? Hope you enjoy. I am. Yeah, I am so far. Thank you. Thank you. Crystal wire here, just destroy that. Voice back infestation. Okay, another one of those ones. Okay, so last time this popped when the bags popped. Up to 17 cocoons. Hmm. And there are bags that are going to pop there. 
So that's going to pop on its own pretty soon. Pretty soon. Three defenders. Three defenders that will eat through our walls. <laughs> But maybe for the next attack. We'll see. Such a weird playthrough. Okay, it's working so far. Working so far. Uh, we got some traders coming here soon. Stone walls are tasty. They pop because of the nearby pond. Hmm. Maybe, maybe it was proximity. I didn't, I didn't see. I thought maybe because it uh, exploded, but maybe not. I usually keep track of power usage. I just click on it and see power output excess versus how much. It's a lot of subscribers. It is, it is mod wife. It is. There was a, it's been a crazy day here at the stream. <laughs> All right, is it sacrifice time? It's not. Six more days. Six more days. I think it enclosed is going to pop it. So if we go try to move the waste, I think that's going to do the same thing. I guess we'll find out if the waste popping pops them or not. And then we'll go from there. This should be interesting to see the next raid get hit by that. Bad sleeves can't research. Have them at scanners all the time. Pods and insects. Nine hives. Don't really need any of that, so. Mechs can walk right by them. Yeah, it is weird because of the mech versus insect lore. All right. Nimble. Brawler, Gourmand, Kind, Too Smart, Body Modder, Night Owl. Where are all the tough ones? Holy crap. Tough doesn't exist. Stole all the tough ponds? Because you didn't get anything good in your, your purple shard and you take it any revenge through this why do i have to summon sky god for the bowels of the heavens commandment 37 45 we will be killing dogs no sky god i don't think we will i don't think we will uh commandment i'm not i'm not gonna follow Lita. Uh, yeah, can't, can't get behind that one. Sorry. Right. Referral key. Look at all those drugs we got, guys. We're just, we're just inundated with drugs. Like we're some kind of drug colony. That's exactly what you are. Like we're some kind of drug colony. Moo, 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 moo. What is this, Diablo? Moo, 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 moo. Um, I have a wooden here. Buy that wooden bed. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why I have that in storage. <laughs> um. All right, that'll do, pigs. That'll do. Uh, and then I'm gonna gift them some drugs because where are we at here? We're at plus fifty-five. So let's go ahead and do that. Trade with Pierre. 27 for a wooden bed. What a deal. Why would it be Diablo? There is no cow level. Moo, 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 moo. Moo, moo, moo. All right. Give the pigs some psychite tea. 300 drugs for the pigs. Welcome back. 
Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. 300 for the pigs. Like some kind of weird Lord of the Rings. Alright. For the pig lords. Uh, yeah, I want to do the jelly as a gift too. Thank you for the reminder. Isn't that corner X Y this run? No, I'm not. Harry's scratching to get in. I open the door, he's like, nope, turns around and walks. No, uh, corner punch, it, like, I don't know. There'd be, be no point in doing this run if I was just gonna do corner punch. I mean, to each their own, obviously, but. There we go. Oh, oh, no corner punch allowed. Uh, no spot. Oh, I see. Turn this back on. Do, do, do. He says, leave my, yeah. Leave your door open. Aries demands it. All right. Uh, let's take a look here. Last raid. This, this counts, right? This major event. Yeah. The ninth. So... Sander can attack again soon. <laughs> I like how these beds are now. I'd like to get another really good construction person too. What was this guy good at? I guess he'll be our artist when we get him. We gotta find three more pawns in 46 days. Our joint events are coming back up in five days. The settlements to trade with are coming in back up in a little less than 10, I think. Let's check. A little less than 10. And we'll keep hitting Ancient Dangers. This is our so cheap. Uh, yeah, so a Jade Fence is 10 beauty. It only costs one Jade. A Jade Wall is 10 beauty, but costs five Jade. So using, using Jade Fence early for beauty is uh, just an easy way to... Easy way to increase uh the beauty in, a, in an area blight on the cotton i'll just manually do this and oh, that was a very tiny blight nice Last time that whole freaking place. That was when we were growing rice, though. That was when we were doing rice. Uh, all right. Jump packs are done. Skin hardening. Anything for a tough melee cable pond? I know. I keep checking, like, all the traders and stuff. Like, I would betray anyone for a tough pawn at the moment. As long as they can fight. Same high manhunter pack, not awoken prematurely. Oh no. Uh, you know what? That's a sacrifice. I actually don't care. If they die, they die. They die. Oh, no, 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 no. Cotton and slaves. No, that's a coincidence. Oh, God. I didn't realize. Can I afford slaves to fight? But I'm looking for people to not have as slaves. I'm looking for the next four melee pawns. So I need, I want tough pawns for those. They die early, they die early. He knows his time is coming. Hey, that's our first dug too deep. All right.
That's why I put it in that little corridor. That worked out pretty well. decide if I'm going to use that other Zeus hammer or not. The person's going to end up eating an extra meal a day, but then they get the kill focus thing and they just have a better weapon. I don't know. I got to think about it. I just saw a tough jogger in Cable of Violence. Yeah, it really sucked. They were such a good pawn. They were in Cable of Violence. You know, can't be a melee god if you're capable of violence. Tough jogger. Tough jogger. Felt bad. <laughs> the new Zeus Amber, uh, it has hunger pangs, so the person that equips it will basically need to eat an extra meal a day. And it has kill focus, which means when they kill something with it, they get a mood increase. So. Uh, there is no gene for tough. No, there's a gene for robust, but th those stack. We an issue. The so an extra meal normally wouldn't be an issue. The problem is raids take so long to take care of because we have to go out there and, and kill little groups at a time and kite around and stuff like that. That it can become a problem because, um, you know, they'll get hungrier faster. They'll break down faster. Uh, you can force slaves to do that. You can force slaves to do, like, even if they're incapable of something, you can force them to do it, but I'm looking specifically for, for pawns, so. Oh, it wasn't a Zeus hammer. It was a, it was a Persona Monosword. Yeah, I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. Give it to the non-tough one. Have to get disengaged. Yeah. I mean, if the time comes, we'll just we'll also just take a good pawn, even if they're not tough, you know? But that's kind of like what we're looking for right now. Specifically. Could sell it, yep. Tough jogger could kite and lock. I, I realize it's a good pawn, even though it's a cable of violence. But it's part of the run itself. It doesn't It doesn't seem very thematic with the theme that we're going with to have one of our melee god titled pawns not be able to melee, you know? So you can still gra uh, draft in cable of violence. You can still use them as, as meat shields. Yeah, It's just part of the run. It's the same reason we're doing the whole sleeve thing. Just, it's just part of the run. All right, I need to redo this area. Not gonna redo the beds yet. We're gonna get some faster sleep here. Higher comfort levels. Okay, that'll do, that'll do. Or you can always transfer them. Yeah, and it would just kill that person. Yeah. Jogger trap center. What's well, keeping tough from moving? I ripped his legs out. So I cut I cut him off. Sorry. Sorry. Cut his legs off because I don't want him to accidentally die in like a slave uprising or a, you know, a, a mood break or something. I wish biotech added another victory. Yes, I do. That would have been nice. Yeah, that's that's why. That's why I can't move. 
you want to finally make a crematorium. It's going Swan, welcome in. Doing all right. Doing all right today. Overall. Singe the Arcanites. Get dark light over here. And we'll set some things up in this. Reach the Earth ending. We're on Earth. The rim world is Earth. All right. Uh, let's see. Burn apparel. Do forever. Uh, change apparel only. No armor, no utility. Okay. Uh, nor awful to normal only. Uh, zero to fifty-one percent only. Burn weapons do forever. Uh, let's see. Obviously, some of this stuff can't burn anyway, so it doesn't really matter that I'm setting it for this, but, you know. All right. Uh, and then we're going to... Should be another. There's a lot more of these I can set up, but for now this is fine. Do forever. Allow rotten only. All right. Arcane Axis is your favorite. The actual trip to the Arcane Axis is fine. It's just the reward for the ending is not great. The actual Arcane Axis itself and the credits and stuff. Uh, utilities should be removed from all of them because I just copied and pasted. Yes. Yep, it's good. Goggle 46 months. Thank you, Goggle. Much appreciated. A long time. Getting used to the hair. No rush. Change the mohawk. Uh, eh, it's whatever. I really don't care. My wife likes it this way. My daughter does, so I really don't care what my hair is like, so I might chop it off just to stop dealing with it. I was talking about it the other day, though. It's like, yeah, I'm getting kind of tired of just having to do anything <laughs> before the stream. Like, all right, I gotta make sure it's not all just plastered down before I just did nothing, you know? But yeah, it's not. Not a big deal to me. John Lardine, welcome in. All right, sacrifice in three days. Festivals in two to three days. Getting things done, getting things cleaned up. Your favorite hairstyle is also whatever, yeah, whatever maintenance is free. Whatever my family likes, I really don't care. Nikki Shame, a one star. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna take this to try to see if we can get tough pawns. She's an 11 year old, so like we probably won't keep her either way. But if there's a raid following her that we can take care of, we might get tough pawns out of it. Of course, it could be something like a siege or a mech cluster. How does a mech cluster follow someone? I don't know, but you can have that happen. Uh, I don't know, actually, this one. Uh, I'm not going to. They're 11. We're not going to keep them either way, so. She just comes as a tough, nimble 11 year old. <laughs> Build walls. Yes. 
I can build walls. Are walls melee? Y yes, yes. Okay. You can tell because walls can't hit you from a distance. And down next, there could be a vampire version. Yeah, I actually thought the single phage would have an ending because when they announced single phages and stuff like that, in the uh, blog post by Ludian, it said something like, uh, beyond here, there's going to be spoilers about the single phage, blah, 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 whatever. There's going to be spoilers, so you may, may want to stop reading. I was like, all right, cool. There's going to be some kind of vampire ascension, you know, credits or end to the game or whatever. Nope. <laughs> the spoilers were just literally information about the vampires. They're <laughs> like, okay. Or defending like a mech hive as a mechanator. Yeah, something. I mean, there's a lot of things they could have done, but. I don't know. Or if they just ran out of time, or if they just didn't want one at all from the get go. Uh, we could have smelt that. Oh well. Ah, well. Spoiler they're vampires. Don't read any further if you don't want to know more. All right, now that the people that don't want spoilers are done reading, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the next, they live on blood, live off blood. <gasps> yeah, thanks Tynan. Everyone knows what a vampire is. Hey, what are you destroying? <gasps> I think friggin' not. Holy crap. Well, the the market value now went from about 3,000 to 220, so he's just doing some wealth control. Some wealth control. Uh, way to go, Sacrifig. Really didn't like that. That's probably the... The EXC means that's the Executioner Sword. That's probably what they're going to sacrifice me with, but not if I take it out. I won't give them the satisfaction. Mad Tortoises. That's our next event. Okay. There goes the selling option on it, though, yeah. <laughs> For that, we should kill him with it. Oh, that's a pretty good idea, yeah. Killing food, they have Scaria, so 82% of the tortoises will just rot instantly, so... Not even worth trying to get him. food. Oh, what? I didn't realize those were down there. I'll mark those. Some something else. Single phages have never been done before. <laughs> I, I'm fine with them just being vampires. It was just I really thought that's what they were teasing was uh, some kind of ending. It's like don't read any further. Look at that pollution. So they don't give the bugs. Uh, I don't think they will because they're all animals but yeah I don't know oh that's a mass insanity event my bad I was thinking that was a manhunter that was a mass insanity yeah so it's like it does say manhunter this is mad tortoises so yeah I don't I don't think they'll pop it no actually a different event than what I was originally thinking anyway. So that's Mass Insanity still counts as a major event. But believe it or not. Mm -hmm. All right. Making that go juice. Making that go juice. Yeah, right now we're just kind of waiting. Waiting for the next Cassandra hits. Waiting for these to come through. These are almost ready, as you can see here. And hopefully we get some joins this time. Hopefully. Last time we only got one join event out of all six. The time before that, I think we only got one. One.
All right, so almost there, almost there. That also means that the trader is going to be resetting soon. Hmm. Man, I would really like to scan some steel nearby. It's not like I can choose, but... How's our power looking? Turn this back off now. I think the power's fine. I have three people that can do research and scanning and stuff. All right, another research complete. Uh, we could get toxin filtration to put in like sleeves and people like that, especially when the whole map is toxified, but Gunlink, we're never going to use. Neural Supercharger, we're not going to use. Uh, growth Vats, we're not going to use. Uh, we might build a TV for them eventually, so we can research that. Yeah, I don't I don't think they will attack the hives because they're they're animals too, so. Fight scar. Was that when the cougar event happened? I think so. Oh. I see. Yeah, let's get those moved out of here. Uh, so basically they're putting all of the normal meals in here, but because it's a prison, they wouldn't eat them themselves. And they were just going bad. This guy can't can't eat all of that. Let's come back to Wealth Infinite Run. Those dirt floor barracks are kind of too familiar already. No idea. I'm gonna play whatever uh is that I feel that's fun for the moment so that I can continue playing instead of like burning myself out. But You like cougars? Rhino walked or close to a fire, got hurt, and randomly attacked a hive, and that proctored all the infestations. Yeah, that sucks. Suck. All right, there's a raid. Uh, it's a breach. Okay, that's our first uh, breach raid. So we basically want to rush the actual breachers and then retreat. Okay, any breach axes left? There is. A breach axe somewhere. There's three more. Four more. Five. Oh my god. Why did you guys bring so many breach axe axes? Jesus. Is that a tough pawn? No. I don't know how you stayed up so well. Live, you're not a tough fun. Oh, he's a Neanderthal. He's uh, he's robust. Robust. All right, we got the actual breachers. These guys are gonna reset a little bit. Dinosaur. I see dinosaurs quite a bit. Yeah. Hello? Where are you guys going? Woo! 
We're breaching! <laughs> Dox compared to Tassaro's nephew to a bandit. I mean, you are raiders, so... That breach your AI, you know? God, there's like no buff puns. Friendlies, what? Why? Why do we always get it when it's something that we can easily take care of? We're helping! <laughs> Wait, what if one of these are tough? Wait, they're leaving? What is this? <laughs> they just drop pod in a circle around the map and just leave. What is going on, man? Uh... <laughs> well, that's something I've never seen in Rimworld. You know, we say that you can play four or five thousand hours and see no, new stuff. There you go. Friendlies just came in and left. Yeah. I guess because the breachers were bugged. What? They've been trapped and are digging their way out. What do you mean? What is this? Pigs have been trapped and are digging their way out. Oh, that's the traitors. Never mind, never mind. I thought it was talking about the breachers. I was like, what? They just show up. Ah, oh, you got this one. See ya. War paparazzi. They just drop in, take some pictures and leave. Oh, there's a breacher left with them too. Look at that. Now they're working, or now they're doing the way they're supposed to, but we've already killed so many of them now. I think they will actually just give up before they before they get through this. <laughs> oh, one was trapped in the lake. I got you. That's weird, yeah. When I want to get through a wall, I shoot arrows. Let's look at him. Zero shooting skill with a normal short bow. Sometimes he's not even hitting the wall. Like literally the entire area in front of him is wall and sometimes he's still missing. He's like hitting over here. He's standing on top of a breach axe and has one right in front of him and he's still shooting at the wall. In fact, he's accidentally shot that breach axe, but he keeps doing it. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Ambus. Ambus, don't you think you should pick up that breach axe? No, I got this. Ambus, are you sure? I got this. Ambus, we're getting real hungry out here. We're getting real hungry. Let's just leave. <laughs> Kind of work site. And we get the light leather. All right, we did it. We did it. Cool. It was a tough one, guys. It was a tough one. That's what happens with breachers, though. If you it, tribal breachers, if you go out and kill everyone with a breach axe that's actually coming to your base, which they they separate, they come to your base, they start acting really weird. We've had that happen many times. <laughs> You're cracking up the monologue for them. <laughs> Alright, let's turn that off. And now, I believe it's time for a sacrifice. Alright, so to get reform points, it has to be spectacular. So, what what is different, the difference between a spectacular and a satisfying... Execution, it depends on how far the blood goes. 
Oh, you see that? That blood? I don't know. Look at that. Awkward. <laughs> well, that was awkward. We actually get a minus one mood for it. All right. The amount of screaming. That's what made it awkward. Do you went out there and attack them? Do they re-engage? Only the ones that you enter combat with if they're trying to run off the map like that. Yeah. All right. When this gets cleaned up... Oh, there's a rat in here. Have Lumberjack kill that. Okay, when this gets cleaned up, uh, we will then do our rituals. Hopefully get some joint events. Didn't hit anyone in the eye. Boo. The axe got stuck. Ugh. What does it actually say? I actually don't know that I've read the awkward one. The public execution was awkward. The speech dragged on. And when it came time to strike, the executioner slipped and barely recovered. None of it felt justified. Oh my lord. You're right. Ouch. Oh, oh. Executioner fumbles. Ouch. All right. Come on, join events. Come on, come on. The time has come for a medi raid. Got my psychite tea. Boring. Maybe they just don't like this song. Let's play one, a different one. Play a different one. Because I flow. Oh, they like it. They like it. Unforgettable. Still no join a bit, though. Still no join a bit. All right, let's do it. Go again. Go again. Because I flow. New tape in the stereo. <laughs> Boring. It just. A gleaming endowment. <laughs> Gonzo. Think we're the thousand bits. Thank you, Gonzo. Uh, I guess they don't want to hear the same song twice. Maybe that's it. Let's try. Let's let them sleep and we'll try again. Too many parties. They have nothing left to give. Let them, let them rest for just a little bit, you know. Give them as moments. Shut up, Bormir. All right. All right. It's time to go again. For pity's sake, give them a moment. Wouldn't it be better with more speakers? Active loudspeakers, six out of six. No, more doesn't do anything. The only thing that could increase this percentage at this stage is having more people, and we don't have more people. So, uh, this is a 79% chance to be a positive. So, sorry. Or, oh, I, I get you. No, we, ha we have six. Yeah. We have six. These ones are just turned this way. Turn them out to 11. <laughs> All right, different song. Tread lightly. This is Boo's domain. Yoshi! Hey! Taylor! Oh, look at that magnificent hairdo, Taylor. Instruction, intellect. Oh, man. Oh, man. True Happy does nothing for us in this run. Welcome Super Bean's good. Undergrounder is good. Mining, construction, intellect. We actually need that. So this one could possibly be one if we don't find any tough. So, so we'll just put him as... Construct. And we'll let him participate in this one before we throw him in prison. All right, two more to go. Ian Gonzo over the thousand bits and Game Berserker. Thank you for the recent 13 months. Here's hopefully another year of great content. Thank you. I'm glad you're still enjoying Game Breakers. All right. The time has come for a medi rave. Hey, another wonder. 
Apparently, it was having a phone call, and my phone just vibrated off my desk and slammed to the floor. That seems fine. Oh my god, we got a shiny Pokemon. We got a high mate. <laughs> oh, this is going to upset some people. A lot of people are like, man, I've just never gotten a high mate. I just really... Well, we have one and we're going to kill him. Or sell them into slavery, one or the other. All right, last one. Here we go. He will join us or die, Master. Anonymous, thank you for the gift sub to the almighty Jonasons. I'm going to go with... Thank you, Anonymous. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to find you and thank you. All right, here we go again. Slaves raving in their collar pursuit. Not weird at all. Going out. All right. Well, we got two joint events, and uh, this one we might turn into a slave because we have some construction and mining they can definitely do. So this might end up being a slave. And we're going to go sell this one before anything happens there. All right, so go to the world map. Um, These are resetting really soon. Can we wait two days? I don't want her to bond with anyone. If anyone has any, like, romantic interaction with, with them, we're going to bond with them. I don't want that. I'll find the melee run. It's like a stream... Or maybe? Has anything taken me by surprise this run yet? Uh, I don't know. There's been some really fun moments. The first day of this, of this run was really, uh, really fun. There was a lot of crazy things that happened and the story of Chonk and stuff like that. Hey, those are my low shields. All right, we'll go ahead and enslave this guy. Yeah, it's been fun so far. It's been fun. Oh, the guinea pig incident. Oh my god, that was insane too. Oh, enslaving? Oh, because of our ideology, enslaving gives us points. Well, what do you know? What do you know? I already stripped the low shields off of them. What do you know? Would you? Cut it out. Welcome back. Your so we can do six more rituals. Appreciated. Um, I, I need to get rid of her. Let's just go dump her really quick. Wait, how much is she worth? Because... 1050. All right, we'll go really quick. And when we get back, we'll reform. We'll do six more dances. Only well, this time, I'm not going to play the dances. We'll see how they do with just their, their own music. Not that it really matters. So. Christopher, if you fall in love with that high mate on your way over there, I'm going to be quite upset. 
quite up to date. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, does it matter? Yeah, I don't want them to have the low shields down. What's up with tough? Tough is uh, we cut off their legs so they don't accidentally die. And then when we're able to transplant our genes, they're going to be one of the ones we give genes to. Long, hard road. Cold, dark night. No. I think Christopher will have a mood debuff. All right. Uh, let's set this one up. Construction and mining. And we'll get them a name. Will his legs regrow? No, we'll get we'll have to give him uh like bionics or something like that. Bionics or peg legs at least or something. Sim. Alright, surgery. Uh, Sim... Layton. Sim Blitzen. There you go, Sim. Welcome to the colony, kind of. Oh, the high mate's naked, too. Come on, Christopher. Come on, don't listen to her. You don't want to sell me into slit. You don't want to sell me into slavery. Look at me. Look how naked and blue I am. No! No, demon lady! Come on. Don't... Don't do it. Why would you sell me into slavery? Just look at me. Do whatever you want. We can be together forever. No, foul temptress. I want 300 silver. 300 silver. I don't, I don't need... You can't make love to 300 silver. Yes, I can. <laughs> I'll show you. Uh, Christopher, settle down. Settle down. All right, <clears throat> we're on the road. <laughs> now you want to do even more. <laughs> Mass Effect vibes. I was switching my uh, stream deck over to the the time is getting off here soon. Uh, more lavender than blue. That's true. Quick, sell her. Get her out of here. 350. Well, look at that. 349. I was real close. I was real close. Oh, they're out of money. Uh, Just give, give her to them for free. For two reputation. Excellent. All right, come back home. Um, neural. I don't. I don't want to go into the transhumanist stuff. Yeah. Neural superchargers are good overall, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. Sleep enhancers are good, of course. Ooh, plasteel. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Right. Take the witch. Bond from a psychic bond would also be a good bond for the melee gods. Yeah. Yeah. But uh no, I'm not I'm not gonna have her. We actually have we had that one at first in our uh in our genes. I changed it. All right, Christopher is back. So I just allow those to hopefully guide him a little bit through here. Further up through there, I should say. All uh, right, so yeah, let's reform and do some more festivals. So we're going to go to reform. Every time we do this, it's going to go up by two, but we don't really care. Uh, we're not going to change any of this, but what we are going to do is we are going to remove all six of the festivals and we're going to re-add them. And doing that is going to reset the cooldown. We're going to re-add them and we're going to go anytime random recruits anytime random recruits anytime random recruits 
Any sign? Random recruits. You guessed it. Random recruits. What are we gonna do with this one? All right, so everything else is the same. Now that will reset the cooldown, we can do them again. You realize I haven't gotten these ones yet. No, so I don't want to reset it. We're actually only one quest off for getting one of them. It's cheese. It is cheese. Why were you going down there? I unrestricted you to go up there and mine. <sighs> Why are you inconveniencing me with dying? Hold on, Sim. Hold on, Sim. Aries, what do you want? You want to in or out? Not Aries at all. There's some other cat. <laughs> I'm Sim. I call, I call him Sim. Sim. You're in. You're in. That's what you wanted. What? Oh, I don't have medicine on him, okay. Protect him, play defense, play defense. Don't let them get to those three or two. <laughs> I can count. Sim. Oh, there's another one coming, Lumberjack. Ah, uh, this is a big one. We gotta get a double on that. Okay, mind freeze. You keep playing defense up there. Here comes some more. Get him. Oh God, donkey. You almost got bludgeoned. <laughs> I thought you were a bug for a second. Jesus Christ. It's Jason Bourne. No. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Get him. I still hear some bugs attacking. Here's some more. Hey, wow, that one around the outside there. Ah, hey, hey. Defense, defense. This is an NBA game. No, excuse me, NBA defense. What am I thinking? What is this? The eighties? Uh, college, college game. Hey! Right. Got juice. Okay. Well, that was exciting. Not the good kind of exciting, though. I mean, it ended up working out just fine, but.
There's so many more. Okay. That door unblocked. This door unblocked. Oh my god, Aries. What is your problem today? Alright, I'll let all my heat out. <sighs> what happened to the door run? I completed the door run uh, almost two months ago. I was the one posted for a few days. That's because the editors haven't finished a new episode yet. So I post them as soon as the editor is done with an episode. But, yeah. New cat flap on the door? Yeah, maybe. Although, I don't want them in here at night, so. Usually, they're not like this. I'm not sure what's going on today. Sim! Holy crap, Sim, you're alive. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go, not dying. Okay, so now... We can go back to doing the uh, the festivals. Okay. Kaffir is great for computer electronics. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah, it really insulates it. Welcome in Red Viper. Look forward to seeing the conclusion of the dwarf run. Yeah, yeah, so it should be it should be up over the weekend, I I think. I need to still has it patched jade fences, nope. I guess they're probably not going to at this stage, but boring. Fellowship expands. Wanderer, Lynn. Praise the sub. Who's that? Uh, Red Viper. They were using the Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Red Viper. Counts same as a tier one sub. Financially supports the stream. You know all these things already, I'm sure. But thank you. I do appreciate it. All right. We got another sacrifice here. Come on, give us something good to eat. I mean, sacrifice is something good to eat. Give us something good to ascend to. I don't know. We have an 80% chance of it being a positive. And then after that positive roll, we have a 50% chance of getting a join event. He's got the name of a dwarf. Oh, another one. We haven't gotten more than one on set in a long time. It's a friggin' child. Did you just set that child to be a nudist? No, you're probably seeing things. I... Lover of Lumberjack. Tough, tough, tough. Con. What two toughs? We are about to anger these people. All right. Uh, tough undergrounder, psychically deaf. Doctor, crafter, cook. Okay, so con. Teetotaler, pessimist. Yeah, okay, con's above you on the list right now. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Was con. No! Uh. Oh, did, I think they fixed the bug too. There was a bug to where you could enslave and then put back into prison. It would get rid of unwaveringly loyal. I think they fixed that on unstable and I'm on unstable. So we do have a tough pessimist. We're a pessimist double with the pessimistic genes. 
Probably does now. They're so happy to see me. It's tough puns, probably. <laughs> oh, man, that really sucks. Unreal. They changed it so you can, like, double dip in some speed and stuff like that. So I don't know if they changed Pessimist. It does now, yeah. That's what I was worried about. All right, well, you guys are lucky this time. Man, that sucks. Con, why? Why did you have to be unwaveringly loyal? You friggin' jerk. What a jerk. What a jerk being unwaveringly loyal to his people. I really don't like that addition in the game in general, though. It makes more sense, but I don't like it. All right, let's go again. Ah. Uh. I'm not raising any children in this one, yeah. We could get a lot more tough pawns if I raise children, but I did that in the previous few runs, so I'm not doing it in this one. If you kill the caravan, you get all their stuff. Their stuff is generally on the mufflos and animals and stuff, and they're really fast. They get out of there really quick. But if, if you kill their animals, it will drop all the stuff, yeah. Unwaveringly loyal is literally you cannot... You cannot... It's like bio-coding for prisoners, yeah. And Vin, the run's going all right. It is a little common, yeah. So you have more prisoners to brain rip or hemogen farm, but you could do that with non unwaveringly loyal ones, right? So. Ooh, another one. I almost read that his name is Kleenex. You know what? You're Kleenex now. What's up, Kleenex? Great memory is very good. We do need an art person. And they're actually really good. He's a very possible one if we don't get any tough pawns by the time. So we're going to put an X on his name. Wait, we have, uh, we have one more, so hang on. Two more, two more. Brain Ripper was supposed to kill those ones too. Yeah, that wasn't in where. When we read on stream the patch of why they added Unwaveringly Loyal, it had nothing to do with the Brain Ripper. All right, one more chance here. Guess we're just going to need to go out and do lots more. Um... more ancient dangers. Oh, there's nowhere for it. Another option it mentioned something about extra prisoners. Yeah, I don't know. What do you mean? It would just be prisoners you could get anyway, right? So it's not like it's more realistic but unfun. Yeah, that's how I feel, but yeah. Shooting frenzy? Well, good luck with that. Disable it. Yeah. All right. So, arts. I'll get you a real name in a minute. OK. 
Okay. Um, get him a name. We'll leave the X there so we can remember that they're a possibility if we don't find another tough pawn. But Malaxio. Welcome in. There, put on your... Uh, oh, I can just do this. You're a slave now. All right. Makes sense for like a faction leader or someone, yeah. For like if the enemies have moral guides and things. All right, how long until we have a sacrifice? 16 days, so we're just gonna go sell these then. Um, when was that last hit? September the 1st. Ooh. Cassandra is getting off cooldown like the next day. Um, all right, Christopher, let's hit the road. Oh, did they move this over yet? Let me check. No. Yeah. All right, Christopher, take um, the two sacrifices with you. Take the horse. Light leather, human leather. Uh, we'll get rid of the last little thermo for there. 250 psychite T, that's fine. Uh, Thrumbo Horn. Horse. Of course, of course. And I'm actually going to take all of the silver. This is really risky. Uh, in case we find a tech print for Cataphract, which is what we're looking for. All right, good luck. Horse not addressed. Yeah, yeah, I, I got him. I got him. Um, yeah, so I think it was, um, I'll check the slaves really quick. Yeah, uh, so we gotta take the low shield off of her when we're on the caravan. Or I can just do this really quick, I guess. Hey, come back! Alright. Yeah, I could've just did it in the caravan menu, I suppose. All good trader shows up right after I pack all this crap up. Busy. Oh, is he gonna screw up? He's trying to figure out how to get there on his own. I can't open doors, so there we go. There you go, horse. They're just waiting for the horse to get there. slaves packing a lot of money a lot of money 
Sandra's coming off cooldown like today. Hopefully Christopher gets done with uh, the trip to these two before she hits. Yeah, make sure you go above the road, not on it. Not on it. Swim across the river instead of going over that bridge. No, that's not what they're really doing, but it does look like it. It centers on the on the tile. All right, so no tech prints. Uh, they don't have any slaves their own. Okay. Um, what else are we looking at here? Any trainers shooting? Okay. Any jeans? Nope. Archite stuff. No arms. No legs. Man. People have nothing good this time. Maybe about time to put people on loose Furium. I don't know. It's dangerous, but it's, it's real good. It's real good stuff. All right. Bridges are for losers. We also really need to get an ascetic pawn. We keep an eye out for ascetic, even if they're not tough. Tough ascetic would be great, but being able to trade these two empire places would be really awesome. We'd have a, like, just a supply of mono swords and Zeus hammers whenever we wanted them. I know we can make a royal that's not ascetic, but it just makes things easier, especially with the barrack setup. Uh, these ones don't have slaves. No tech prints. Another crafting trainer is interesting. We might take that. Um, well, yeah, we'll take it. All right, Christopher, we're sending you down the road. Let's hope we don't get attacked while you're gone. Not a static royal pond. Yeah, I might do incorporate that into another run. I mean, we could do it in this if I just don't take jealous for anyone else. Wouldn't be that big of a deal, I guess. I don't know. I'd really like to do a static, of course. But... All right, I think Cassandra's coming off cooldown today, so. Emergency landing for 10 Luciferium. A one star. Don't we the no walls run? Yes, I did. I did. If I didn't, I would still be doing it. If I would have lost, I would have just started again. So usually I just keep doing a run until I beat it. However many times it takes. All right, Christopher. He's trucking. 55.7 tiles per day. It's not as high as we've had it before. We get some more horses again, I guess. And like 80 something. If I lose on the ship launch, I've absolutely redone some. Well, it depends on, I guess if it's a challenge run, I'll redo it. Yeah. Even if we lost on ship launch, if it's a challenge run, yeah. All right, tech prints. Recon armor, nope. Prosthetic leg, eh. Man. Buy some more low shields. Pretty rough trade. Take the devil's bargain. Do they put the horse on their back or do they ride the horse? I think they put it on his back, yeah. Makes the most sense to me. If I had to guess, yeah. 
Uh, melee trainer. The, the problem with melee trainer is our genes just give us like plus eight melee or something, right? So it's not a... Not really a great trade-off. Train some huskies. Put a horse like a backpack. Give the good guy run a try again with biotech. The most heartbreaking things for sure. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, it was a fun run. Return of the good guys. Something like that. Oh, man. We'd have to, like, raise all the children. Any children. Might be interesting. Best way to make silver. So... Basically, depending on what your colony is good at, you can make silver in a lot of different ways. So, but all things equal, drugs are a really, really good one because drugs are very, very light and they sell for a lot. Uh, so drugs is a really good one. But if you don't want to do the drug routes, you know, and you have a lot of good planters and stuff like that, good tailors and whatnot, then um, textiles can be very good, making clothing. Uh, you can even make and sell art. Just depends on what your colony is good at. But all things equal, drugs is usually the way to go. Uh, I do I want to breed some huskies here? Maybe, maybe. Let's take some. God, I'm tempted to send him up here again. Can those three hold down the fort while he's gone? I don't know. I don't know. Guess we're gonna find out human leather par parkas well there's there's more valuable uh clothing than parkas like the best one is corset so if you're trying to get the best money per material making and selling corsets if you have royalty is the way to go uh you can make them out of human leather it's fine Art is heavy though, yeah. So you need pack animals to haul it, or um, that's why one reason why drugs are so so good because they're so light. Pack animals to haul it, or just sell it from your colony. Yeah. Dropped our wealth a little bit. You need to a spaceship. That's right. Just beam it up. Beam it up. Uh, I just realized the time. I was supposed to get off of here about 15 minutes ago. I think I'm going to finish this trade uh, route here and hopefully not get attacked. I think I'm going to finish this and then I'll need to wrap things up for this stream. The <laughs> cell jade fence. <laughs> beam up the fences. Hey. How dare you have to eat and do things with your family? More Rimworld, more Rimworld. Hey, they have a bionic arm. Architect arm for four. Oh man, I wish I could come back to the, this group of traders. I think I take it when I have, while I have the option. I'll take the architect arm. Uh, if we go to this trade area and they have the cataphract tech print that we've been looking for, I mean, I guess we could just come back home and get more stuff to trade. All right, architect arm. Streams, need more channel points. Oh, oh, the wagers, yeah. That's what, uh, you know, come to the Warhammer streams on Wednesday, Thursday. Lots of gambling channel points on the Warhammer streams. All right. Done research for now. Now we should start scanning more. Uh, yeah, yeah, the architect arms and uh, help with melee as well. Yeah. 
family never did anyone any good art from leather human leather art or something there are mods to make almost anything out of human leather uh i remember rakes posted a screenshot of his game and he had things like human leather advanced research benches like human leather flooring i was like oh my god it was like this patchwork of skin and stuff it looked crazy <laughs> No tech print. No sleeves for sale. Dark elders kind of stuff, yes. Welcome back. Quite, Your steadfast quite weird to see. Ah, uh, there's some nearby steel. We can do that one. I'm gonna hunt. Some tribals need to build a new room. <laughs> Look at my human leather throne room. Uh, neutral wall. Thank you for the four months. Hey, neutral wall. Here's the VODs on YouTube. Ever watch it over there? Oh, that's even better. That's a little better. A little. Uh, they have slaves with eight people already. I don't know what you mean. My, co my colony? I, there's no limit to how many slaves I can have. Yeah. And uh, settlements themselves, yeah. They, they can absolutely sell. Sell people when we are eight. Yeah, I don't think the adaption counts for that the, um, the settlements that you can trade with, right? I don't think so. Be another good re reason to ally with the or to get a trader for the empire a knight or a dame they seem to have oh inspired trade nice timing uh they seem to have more slaves a few more pawns uh a few more slaves <laughs> much longer until the new implants three days oh man well wow. The Empire is not close enough that we get in minus rep with them. We're like one, t we're one tile or two tiles away, so. Oh, oh, I got you. You missed the no, I got you. Max time for Volcanic Winter, I think is 40 days. I think so. Yeah, there's some slaves. Let's see. Sanguine Brawler. Recluse would really suck. He would have like huge reduction to his mood. 730 subs for the day. Yeah, it's been nuts. It's been a crazy day. Brawler, Sanguine, very good. Sanguine and Recluse are basically going to cancel each other out. So not tough, but a Brawler. New scanning, crafting, mining. I mean, maybe, maybe then. They're going to be impervious to wake up. Any reason? Uh, any benefit? No, no, there's not. Of, of the material for that? No. We might take them. There was a lot of people that did a lot of gift subs. Yeah, it was nuts. Nuts. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll bring them along. They're only 500. Look at that. It's crazy. They're dependent on Psychite. We don't care about that. Oh, they have a peg leg, so that's one reason why they're cheap. Um. All right. And back home. No, it's crazy, R squared. Why don't we wait for tough pawns? We've been looking for tough pawns for two and a half years. Like, how much longer do we wait, you know? Or 2.2 years. Another infestation.
And today's the day of the bugs, I guess. Uh, 1.8 days to get there. Oh, we have three melee blockers. We can just take care of them now. Before they spread before another event happens. All right, let's just do. Let's just do that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so it's just a question of how long do we want to wait, I guess. All right. Get your go juice. Going to dance, Pokemon. worried about that we have no way to really cause collision on the little ones end up not mattering we still got the three on one but more infestations in this one than we did the dwarf run. Kind of silly. All right, Lumberjack, come kill these. Okay. All that went out of the door. All that went out of the door. Should we shut those again? All right. Oh, jelly. So fast, I know. With, with that go juice. Man, I might still wait till another round of festivals just in case. I don't know. The green because it works green. Ah, I, I, if you want, if you want to to be green because of that but no it wasn't because of orcs but orcs hulk we've heard all that kind of stuff so whatever whatever you want whatever reason for them being green we just thought it looked crazy <laughs> so it wasn't until kind of afterwards that we were like oh they could look kind of like orcs i mean they do have the horn they have some horns on their face they have red eyes so they're, they're pretty orcish they're pretty orcish Spinach is green and makes you strong like Popeye. That's right. All right, Chris, we get back. Get back. How's our pollution doing? Grimgor in space. Gaz's salvation. 48 year old geologist. 11 turrets, one waster. 11 turrets. Sorry, Gaz. But he wasn't sorry. He wasn't sorry at all. Bolt goods. All right. It's time to go shopping. What do you mean shop? You're shopping for bolt goods? No, no, no. We're shopping for piggies. Any tough little piggies? Hey, right. I want to click on stones. <gasps> Flesh ball. Flesh ball. Flesh ball, it's your lucky day. You're going to become a god. What a name. Run, Flesh ball, run. What? We're going to send him. Oh jeez, he's gonna eat so much. He's gonna he's gonna eat so much. Hurry back, Christopher. I need you. What kind of weapons these guys have got?
Come on, Christopher. We got pigs to kidnap, my friend. Kill mufflos. Uh, I'm going to just try not to die myself. I'm trying to get flesh ball without dying myself. Hopefully we don't have another chonk incident. Hopefully. How long does he have? Oh, one day left. We're going to have to do it without him. Oh, it's so risky. Rip chunk. It's a lot of guys with guns. Risk it for the biscuit. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if uh, Christopher gets back in time. If not, we'll we'll grab him before they leave. I have another ch chonk incident. <laughs> they can just arrest us instead. <laughs> Flesh Ball. He's an actor. Welcome Flesh back. Ball traveled with a company Most of actors, playing to packed theaters and loving audiences everywhere. He was a perfectionist and made his own props and costumes rather than use the ones he was given. Ah, uh, the Bard of Blarney. Would you like biscuits? Uh, Bart, thank you for the 48 months. Thank you, Bart. That's a long time, man. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. This little piggy ascended to godhood. <laughs> right. It's a pig cosplayer. You're not even a real pig. Uh-oh. All right, let's get hyped up on go juice for this. Might be go time soon. I'm watching you, flesh ball. I'm watching you. Got some Pulp Fiction hair going on. What makes that Pulp Fiction hair? This was out of food. Yeah, you'll be fine. Go, go, catch it. Go, Juice. I think they're going to be leaving soon. <laughs> Why the concrete by the walls? For movement. Movement speed. We're doing raids. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. That's why I said we might have another chunk incident on our hands. I was <laughs> watching, watching flesh ball there. Never forget chunk. Oh, oh, that might have been a good opportunity. Oh, oh. It's red concrete. Yeah, it'd make us run even faster. <laughs> Just sitting here watch this friggin' pig. They've already eaten, yeah. If he comes inside again, I'm getting him. Keep flesh ball as his name. <laughs> These guys are like, hey, let's get out of here. Why are we just standing here? Sky God forgot about us. No, I didn't. We're scoping out a pig. Excuse me, your donkey is destroying my door. It's not our donkey. All right, you're right. 
Not your donkey, right? Okay. Did you go flesh ball? There you go. Flesh ball, are you coming inside? Flesh ball. Get him! Yoink! Should have never gone through that door. I should have never gone through that door. Oh, oh God! Love Jack, going after that meal, you're gonna get killed. The yoink made the highest of flesh perfection. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm going to remove his legs. So we're right about to. We're only a day away. We're only a day away. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> that went really well. Went surprisingly smoothly. Surprisingly. Oh, uh, if he breaks down, I know. He's sick? Just hang on, buddy. Just hang on. Just hold in there. Hold on there, rather. <laughs> I mean, we don't have to do all four at once, right? So it's not like we have to do it that way. Like Christmas is probably off cooldown. He did his first. Or at least pretty close to being off cooldown. And wait, we have this one that we might ascend. So we actually have... We have some good candidates here. This is a good pawn. He's just not going to be tough. He'll be robust only. But. No, 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 no. Don't go in there. Boy, that was close. Four Panthers, we can melee block that. Yeah, that was like as close as you can get. Trade the main guy for Chunk. Yeah, that would that would have not been good. Uh, we can melee block this to let him in. We got extra go juice, so it's fine.
Yeah, this one is uh, this candidate too. Brawler, but not tough. So it'd be Brawler and um, Brawler and Robust. All right, that's the double Cassandra attack. Okay. Wait, genes are growing 29 days. 15 hours, 4.7 days, 23 hours. What makes them do it at different times? That's interesting. So we can do one in 4.7 days. All right. Well, I have been on here longer than I was supposed to. So I'm going to um, wrap things up for now. And we'll come back to this in the morning. And do some ascending. Some ascending. Making some more melee gods. So save it for anything else happens. We have much to do in the morning. Uh, maybe we'll go hit a few more ancient dangers during that cooldown.